That never gets easy. Trying to edit everything live and on the go. But, you know what? We'll get there. I mean, we are kind of fresh out of the gate here. Alright, so it's been a week or better since I've played Pokemon Let's Go. I've been focusing on Samus Returns. So, I'm going to dig into some Pokemon today and hopefully... This will be a good, meaty, chunky episode. And, um... Hopefully I don't have the same audio issues that I had yesterday. I'd been streaming for like an hour, only to realize that it was not capturing the game audio. And I was so... just depressed over that whole thing. But I, I think we're good today. All right, so when we last left off, we were just about to enter Pokemon Tower. We had already beat Giovanni and gotten the Silph Scope. Now all we need to do is make our way to the top of the tower. Hunter is huge. <clears throat> yeah, are you just gonna stand here? Yeah, you're just gonna stand here, aren't you? All right, let's see. Who do we have with us? Ah, so we need to capture our our very own Ghastly. Now, I know Kangas Khan doesn't have a strong special attack, but we're going to throw Kangas Khan at this lady and see what, what we get. We'll fake out work on a ghost. Nope. It will not. Yeah, thank you. You've poisoned me. All right, give me just a second, guys. Give me just a second. It's telling me that I did not rename my stream when clearly I renamed my stream. Now, this is a problem we've had with Twitch for a very long time. Okay, I go to Twitch's website. It says we're playing Pokemon Let's Go. That's all fine, well, and good. It's telling me that I did not rename my stream when clearly I renamed my stream. Now, this is a problem we've had with Twitch for a very long time. Okay, I go to Twitch's website. It says... Gotta hate the sound of my own voice. Alright, I guess we're doing okay. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why you need two monitors. Dropping my controller. Now what? We're just gonna go with Pikachu. Oh my Christ in heaven. Well, this is a shit show of a stream. Ok, 
Okay, Christ, finally. I got my chat pulled up. Alright, Pikachu. No, I'm gonna keep using Pikachu. Because you screwed me before. There is one small thing I forgot to do before we make our way up through the tower. Let me go back to the ground floor here because uh, I noticed we're wearing the Team Rocket clothing from the last time that we played and it's time to change our clothing. Besides, we need to show respect in a place such as this. She looks so adorable. Okay, my turn. I don't see too much difference between my formal hat and uh, the Team Rocket clothing, if I'm being honest. Yeah, we look a lot better. Better? Better. The Team Rocket hat looks better on you, though. Mm, fuck it. We'll stick with the formal hat. So now I need to focus on finding a ghastly of our very own. There's ghastly. Ghastly, old oh buddy, old oh pal. Holy crap. I guess... This haunter would rather be our friend. You stinker. Ha! We didn't miss that time. Aw, oh, come on, pal. So close. Haha, <laughs> an excellent throw. Damn you. Let me remind you, Haunter, you came to me. There you go, sport. By licking, it saps the victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop until the victim's demise. Holy God. 
All right, well, let's catch Ghastly too for the next entry, I suppose. I'm just wasting Pokeballs at this point. Like a buffoon. said to appear in decrepit, deserted buildings. It has no real shape, as it appears to be made of gas. <coughs> Alright, well first things first, let's move you to the front of the party. Then let's see what we can't do about teaching you a few moves, shall we? Oh yeah, definitely Shadow Ball. That's the strongest uh, TM we have as far as Haunter is concerned. Why not? Ooh, Will-O-Wisp and Toxic. Uh, well, we don't really need both, so I'll get rid of Will-O-Wisp. I can't imagine me wanting to use that in the future. Toxic does a way better job at pissing people off. Haunter, lay it on and lay it on thick. Hit him with Shadow Ball. <laughs> I'm gonna joke to death. Almost missed this trainer up here. Hi, I slide, eh? Cool. Let's lay waste. To this ghastly with psychic we're kind of just gonna psychic and shadow ball our way through pokemon tower which is fine we need to get to the top and find mr fuji and i bet you it's team rocket why am i playing like i don't know we all know it's team rocket screwing around Of course, in between streams, I'll have to trade with my friend and uh, make our Haunter a Gengar. So that's a thing I'll do, again, between streams. <sighs> I'm extra sleepy today. I have not been sleeping well since my friend's been in the hospital. Of course, I don't sleep that well regardless. I actually, I woke up super late today. And then I spent three hours on one movie. Three hours! I watched um, Magnolia, which I believe is 99. 
I have to go back and check. I wouldn't have known that movie existed, but um, of course, Red Letter Media mentioned it in an episode, and I was intrigued, and I went and I, I watched it, and wow, that is it's an amazing piece of art. Yep, now I'm going to have to walk all the way back around. Thanks to you. It is pouring rain, and I can hear it over the game. I can also hear somebody tub thumping outside. I don't get why people think that I want to hear their bullshit, rap bullshit, tub thumping music. I live in a neighborhood. I don't want to hear your garbage. I'm in my home trying to chill. So disrespectful. Think of other people sometimes. I'm getting a text. Let's see what it says. Actually, let's go get into a battle. I can do two things at once as long as we're in a battle. Holy crap, another haunter. Does that Haunter look differently colored to you? Nope. Okay. Here we go. Oh crap, no, I went down instead of up. I'm an idiot. Okay, I, Eric can't do two things at once, apparently. Right, I fought all you. I fought all of yous. Nope. I missed one. It really does feel a little bit unfair that I'm just gonna kind of bowl my way through this tower. Gengar is one of my favorites, though. So mischievous. Always up to stuff. I mean, my Gengar is always up to stuff. I'm constantly having to go around and pick up behind it and fix things. It's a goofball. <laughs> we really need to heal. Um, I thought I saw an item over there. I guess not. Damn it, one more battle before I can actually heal. I'm not going to sacrifice my Haunter, so we're going to pull Haunter back, and we're going to use War Turtle. Yep. 
you punk. It's a good thing we're about to heal in two seconds. Tit for tat, hey? I can't stop yawning. No, nobody ever wants the ability or to learn the move agility. It's you're wasting our time. Even from a strategic standpoint, it just serves no purpose. Not in-game battling, anyhow. Competitively, I couldn't tell you. I don't play Pokemon competitively. Come, child. I have purified this space here. You can rest yourself for a moment. I had already done it, I don't know why you had to do the animation twice. Zombies! Sad now. I was gonna see if my my buddy could drop in and check the stream and see if everything was good and say hello and he's off busy adulting. Something about a hairline fracture in the transmission or something. I don't know. I quick scanned that text. You're getting a full-on Dragon Rage. Stone, just in case we get an Alola and Vulpix. I doubt that'll come across as we're just doing story mode here. It feels weird saying story mode for a Pokemon game, but you guys know what I mean. This playthrough is pretty much just going to cover the story aspects, and, and that's it. And like I said, if there's time for it post league I might switch over to my personal save file and we can do some shiny hunting although I've already found a handful without even looking I don't remember all the shinies I have but I've tried chaining once or twice and couldn't get the ones I wanted Kind of got bored with it and gave up. Moved on to Smash.
What in the world is all this purple haze, fog, whatever? It's the mist! Stephen King's the mist! Run! That was one messed up ending. I really did enjoy that movie back in the day, but as much as I love it, I cannot watch it but once every so many years. Like, I have to let the memory of that movie get so far gone from me. Because Mrs. Carmody, I, I, I cannot with her. I just, I cannot. I hate mob mentalities. And it, ooh, ooh, that movie, ooh. Now. Give me your all. Give me your all. Yep, she's possessed, so it would probably be the second voice. All right, Hunter. Psychic. Uh-oh. I never see it coming. Hence the name Sucker Punch. Whew. Wait. Her name's Tammy? That's my mom's name. Doing a great job, Haunter. Keep it up. Destroy it. All right, that clears another floor. Get my power points back. Alright, I see an item hiding up. Yeah. Ooh, a nugget. That'll come in handy. We'll sell that fat bitch. Holy crap, you come out of nowhere. Bum, 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 bum. Destruction to spur. Wasn't there a song like that in the second Lion King? Something, disgrace, it's as plain as the scar on his face. Talking about Scar's kid, I forget his name. Because I think I've seen the Lion King 2 all at once, maybe. Twice, I think. I love the original. I'm dying to see the new live-action Lion King, though, if I'm being completely honest. I haven't seen any of the other live-action stuff that they've done. Um, there was a live-action Jungle Book years and years ago, but I'm not sure if that was affiliated with Disney. That might have just been... Um... Why can't I remember the author of the Jungle Book? Wow, I feel really embarrassed and stupid now. We're grinding. We're getting a lot of XP. That's a good thing. Jesus. Ralph. Ooh, 
that was a good one. What? Stop it. I'm just gonna sit here. You guys, you, you I don't blame you for fast forward. I'm just gonna rest my eyes. No, it's your fault. You're the one who's in charge. You're the streamer. You're supposed to keep it entertaining. Yeah, but nobody's watching. Yeah, but they might watch on the YouTube site. No, nobody's watching. Ooh. The hunters don't seem that big in battle, but in the overworld, they're huge. Like, scary huge. Well, you finally took him from me. Are you happy? All right, Charmeleon. Dragon Rage. Oh, wait a tick. We could be using Dig. They don't have abilities here. Well, now we're confused. Don't start that crap. worked out for the best. Eat it, Haunter. How many of you are there? I am looking forward to the day where we advance to the point to where they can create individual trainers and we don't have to keep fighting the same copy and paste humans every five feet. That would be perfect. I know it's an aesthetic thing, but it would add to it, trust me. Because I remember when they didn't have names and now they at least have names, so...
Ah, that one's even bigger than the last one. Eric, use the thing, the thing you used last time. Marowak. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. You sure you're okay by yourself? Be well, Cubone. That's unfortunate. I feel so bad for it. Ooh, a piece of candy. You're in my way. <laughs> Stop right there. We'll be going first. With that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeat. You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. <laughs> we won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss, whatever you want, whether you want to or not. Cram's hair thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You'd better disappear, Twerp, or be prepared to fight. You better be prepared to fight, Twerp. You pushovers don't scare me. Alright guys, do your thing. God damn it. Well, that did next to nothing. Ooh, that did way more damage to Arbok than it did to Weezing. Again with the glare.
All right, well, we got Weasling out of the way. Marbach, it's your turn. Ow. Sorry, Pidgeotto. A necessary sacrifice so that I could do this. I had sleep powder, but I forgot I got rid of it. Oops. Now I just have a type disadvantage on the field for no reason. Well, that worked out anyway. We're getting there. <laughs> Seriously, again? Looks like Operation Stealthy Kidnap Fuji is a bust. Don't you think I know that? I'll be, it'll be fine. We just have to help it out with the takeover of Silco and Saffron City. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. It's Mr. Baldy at me in Fuji. Who you might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket. Thanks. I didn't even notice they were here. Oh, okay. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Bum, 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 bum. So, Eric, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will, end, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Yeah, we know. That's so warm. Pokemon are cuddly and nice to hug. Mr. Fuji went trying to bring some peace to the ghost of that Marowak. What you cooking? A lot of people wonder if we eat Pokemon. It's never really discussed too much. Should we go wake up the Snorlax heading on the southern route here, or wake up the one in... Yeah, let's wake up the one next to Celadon, shall we? I think we'll be ready to fight. I think I've battled everyone on this route, too. No way. Only authorized members are allowed. I was told to let no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How rude. You deny a beautiful girl what she wants? Move it already. 
Hey Jesse, wait for me. Alright, well I'm not quite ready to go in there. Let's go wake up our Snorlax first. Trainer I missed. Let's do it. I love these tough trainers. You want to run that name by me a second time? Wiggly tough, eh? Well, we'll go with Charmeleon, because he's still one level lower than everybody else. Or two levels. I wasn't really paying super attention. Yeah, I think Ivy Source 31. Oh crap, that's right. You're freaking fairy type now. Damn it. So dragon will have no effect. Thank God we have items. Well, that did next to nothing. Ah, come on, guy. Burn him. I hate you. Hi, right, War Turtle, you're in charge. I am gonna break out a revive though. Just cuz. See? That worked out. Charmeleon uh, leveled up there. Thank you for the best battle here. Take a token of gratitude. Facade. Bum, 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 bum. I really need to heal. Alright, if I can get a hold of my friend, it just dawned on me. I could actually evolve Haunter on stream and set to see if he's available. Probably not. Everybody seems to be busy this evening. Mm -hmm. 
check. Do we have enough? Um, okay. We'll try. Pokemon is sprawling out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Do you want to use some Poke food? Yes. Snorlax woke up. Snorlax is looking at you, and it looks hungry. Oh, no. Hey, Eric. There's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the polka flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks that what it sees is food. Since it can be pretty dangerous, please help calm it down by battling it with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it. Just like others. Alright, he mistook me for food and attack. Alright, Snorlax! I don't like the fact that we have a countdown timer in the top left-hand corner, so let's do everything in our power to shut him down fast. Ouch. Alright. Now that I'm asleep, I'm boned. Let's try... Charmeleon. Crap. That gets rid of... That gets rid of the poison. This is always a guaranteed 40, I believe. Come on. His defense is so high. For a headbutt, you use your arm. Fascinating. Crap. Alright, come on, Charmeleon. Dragon Rage. Alright, uh, we're boned. We'll try one dig and see what that can do. That did nothing. Uh, Alright Pikachu, we're gonna have to rely on you. There's not much else I can do with the rest of my team. His defense is just too stinking strong. Woke up to immediately use rest. All right, Pikachu. Thunder. Crap, we missed. That's the most powerful attack I got. It did nothing. Well, double kick will give us as a type advantage, but yeah, it's not still not going to do enough. 
It'll just wake up and use rest again. We were not strong enough for this. We messed up. Just keep hitting it, Pikachu. We somehow pulled it off. Now if we could just catch the fat bastard. So close. Damn it. Not Pokeball, Raspberry. I figured that might happen. Well, damn it. Snorlax calmed down. It gave a huge yawn and returned to the mountains. Oh, too bad, Eric. There are the Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers just like Snorlax did. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is to defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Well, I'll see you later then. Thanks for the hand holding. But, as a veteran of 20 years, I think I got this. I mean, I clearly I don't got this, so we failed. But, I did what I could. I'm very sidetracked at the moment. Alright, this is what we're going to have to cut it for this evening, because I just got some uh, bad news over here in text form. Let me heal up. It is not looking good. So I'm going to go deal with that. Oh, that reminds me. Since we're live, we have to do our outro, which I uh, do not have set up because I'm a moron. So how about you guys give me the impression? Wait, wait, wait. It is set up. Okay. All right. We just need to mute the switch and the microphone. And if it works, I guess that'll work. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I will see you folks 